Uh, speaking of Vegas, let's talk about this now. Mark Andre Fleury has been a hot topic lately uh, for the entire NHL because of his play, but especially for Penguins fans because they want him back bad because Tristan Jari has not lived up to expectations this season. Casey DeSmith has battled as a backup, but he's just, you know, there's only so much you can do. And it, people still feel like this is a team to contend. Uh, I, I'm saying they're a playoff team. I don't know if they're championship caliber team, but they definitely need a boost in goal, whether that comes from Jari eventually playing better, which he has lately. He's played a little bit better, just a little bit. But I don't think Vegas is letting Flurry go, and I think that whole uh, reunion dream needs to get flushed up uh, down a toilet because even if Vegas was willing to move Flurry, I think a lot of teams would be trying to get his services right now because there's not a lot of great goaltending play right now in the league. Uh, this is from Elliot Friedman's article. The average save percentage uh, right now in the league is 906. That's the worst the league has had since – uh, 2006, 2007, the season right after the lockout when all the scoring was juiced because all the penalties were called, the red line came back, everything like that. So you look at it like Flurry, Grubauer, Vasilevsky, uh, Pekarina, Tukaras, those are kind of like the top guys right now, and everyone else is kind of falling in line behind them. It's not like we're seeing this like dynamic play of goalies from all these teams. It feels like uh, we're, we're getting a lot of goals, we're getting a lot of speed, we're getting a lot of skill, and uh, a lot of rust. It feels like it's really showing that these guys didn't get in a proper offseason. They didn't get in uh, a proper training camp. They didn't get in their exhibition games. And the regular season is just kind of beating these guys up right now. They're, they're just seeing a lot of rubber that they can't stop right now. Yeah, I mean, I, th- I, I can attest to it, obviously, in our sport. I mean, you heard plenty of guys from our team, including coaches, come on Pat's show and say, we're still seven, eight weeks away from playing our best football, right, at the end of the day. So I think – without the off season, without with the rushed kind of turnaround, you know, it's, it's going to take a while for these guys to get their footing. And then I think also, I think what's not getting enough talk is only the division games, right? Like you're playing Washington eight times. I mean, you have to adjust on the fly because they're going to adjust and it's a lot quicker adjustments instead of seeing a team twice now and then twice more two and a half months down the road. Right. Or whatever it might be. Right. So I think, you know, you see these teams on back-to-back nights numerous times, you know, sometimes, you know, four times in a month, you know, it's, you're going to have to constantly make adjustments because they're going to make adjustments. So it's going to be a constant chess match. I think coaching is going to be more important than ever this year. And and to just pile on with all that, then you look at all the rescheduling that's had to happen. They just released the uh, the announcement the NHL PR did about the games that are being rescheduled. There, that list is like a mile long. There are so many games that they're looking to reschedule. There's no possible way for teams to get into a rhythm having to battle through that. You're seeing uh, – the if I have to watch another Blues and Coyotes game, I'm going to blow my brains the out. The Coyotes, dude? They, I, love, I love the Coyotes. You know, the AQ, Arizona guy, you know, we love the Oats here, but like – They've already played a seven-game series this season. I can't do it. I can't watch another Coyotes-Blues game. I just can't do it. So the scheduling conflict has been a real issue. And when you need good goaltending to advance in these playoffs, you need two good goalies, at least two. Now you're seeing sometimes you're seeing teams roll through three. You need to have these guys. Vegas has no incentive to move Flurry with how good he's playing unless they were, you know, trying to rebuild or something. But they're not. They're contenders right now. They're one of the best teams in the league. So they got this duo of Leonard and Flurry. And right now Flurry's out playing Leonard. So they've got no incentive to let him go. I don't see any situation where he returns to Pittsburgh or goes anywhere else for that matter unless he forces his way out because of that drama that happened. Uh, with his agent and the organization and the bubble. But he's still got one year left on his deal after this season. I think the only thing he's going to maneuver and protect himself about uh, is saving himself from expansion to Seattle. I think that's the only thing you might you might see uh, Flurry move because I don't think he's going to want to move out of there. So I just think it's a tough situation for Pittsburgh, but they got to play their way through it. Of course, we talked last week about the new GM and new president, uh, Brian Burke, you didn't get a chance to address that. Do you got You have any feelings one way or the other on that? No, I know. I mean, I, there's, there's not much you can do. I mean, they're, they're strapped cap wise. They're strapped with the no trade clause with Latang. They're strapped with, you know, they're big money guys. Right. And then, and then I think there's guys on the bottom, the bottom six that aren't NHL players. So I don't know what you're going to do. I mean, I don't, I don't know how they're going to get better. I don't know how you're going to get different guys in here. It's going to be, they're going to have quite, you know, quite a job to try and make this a better team. Obviously, you need better goaltending, which will improve the team for sure. But I, mean, I think there's a couple guys on this team that aren't even NHL caliber players.